If you've ever needed to scan some ports really quickly, but you can't install Nmap or it's not installed in the system, you might be able to do it with Netcat. I'm Daniel Lowry, and this is a quick bite. Okay, to get Netcat to actually port scan, you're gonna need to do a little bit of voodoo with Bash, and of course, a couple of options with Netcat, and we should be able to check for those ports. Now, this isn't gonna give you a full Nmap experience, but it will give you the basic port scanning functionality that you're looking for. So what we need to do is we need to create a for loop in Bash. So just right on the terminal there, we just for i in, and then we're gonna do a sequence of numbers. So if I do dollar sign, open parentheses, seq for sequence, and then one space six five five three five, close that parentheses out. Basically, I'm gonna walk from one to six thousand five hundred and. 535, yeah, that's right. There it is in front of me. And it'll walk all through each one of those numbers. We're gonna iterate through that. Do a colon and I will say do, and this is where Netcat comes in. I'm gonna do nc-nvz, right? So the Z option is to say zero input output, basically only report your status of the connection, okay? Then I will, of course, do a dash W1. Now that option is gonna tell you to wait this amount of time before you connect timeout kind of thing, okay? From there, you just give it an IP address. I'm just gonna go with the local host 0.1, like that, but whatever IP that you're wanting to scan, and then a dollar sign I. That's gonna be our iteration from our for loop. That's why we have that for I right there, okay? And then the last thing when you do is redirect standard error two and one, like that. So two greater than ampersand one, just wanna add that, then give it the um, lovely little semicolon and type done. Now we're gonna pipe this, so do your pipe character through grep, and we're gonna have grep do a dash V, which means I wanna do the inverse of what I'm gonna ask you for. So basically, anytime you see the word refused, don't grep it, grep me anything other than refused. I hit that, I hit return, and I start to wait. And we start to see, I did find a single open port here already. 1716 is open. And there you go, it's starting to port scan. Of course, I'll have to wait till this finishes because this is going through all 65,535 ports, but I will get those connections and I didn't have to use Nmap. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Daniel Lowry, and this has been an IT Pro TV Quick Bite.